so before start the actual project explanation i request you please subscribe my channel so you can see on the screen up till now i have uploaded more than 66 video on raspberry pi the raspberry pi with iot that is all this video then also iot with arduino all this video are 26 and recently we started the new series on the pick my controller before that i also cover the project on the python web application so if you want to learn python iot raspberry pi arduino pick from the scratch and from uh, freely then please subscribe my channel please support me and the most important part is whatever the code i have explained whatever the project i have created on this youtube channel all these projects are freely available you no need to pay anything for this project so just if only point is you should watch complete video and you should follow my process so if you want to learn something from the scratch and freely then support me and please subscribe my channel and please click on like button hello friend in today's video we will learn how we can connect the keypad with arduino so you can see on the screen we, we have the 4x4 keypad and we have the arduino you know. so in this video we will learn how to connect this keypad with arduino then also i will explain the program part of this project so this is very simple circuit but in in future uh, by using this keypad we will develop many complex projects like uh, smart trolley system then three layer security system in which we will interface keypad uh, then uh, fingerprint then face recognition into one project but before that it is very important to understand this keypad so uh, you can see on the left hand side there is arduino you know window so how to open that window how to download the code that we will see later first uh, focus on the practical demonstration so i will open the serial terminal window from here so once i open the serial terminal window you can see when i press when any single uh, any key like one then it will appear there then two it will appear there then three then a then four then five then six then b then seven then eight then nine then c then star uh, star then zero then hash and d so uh, all these numbers are working you can see it is working so practical demonstration done now we will see the hardware connection and then we will see the program part okay now we will see the hardware connection so you can see uh, here this is the keypad and each keypad having the 8 pin so here you can see there is a number also on keypad uh, one number is there uh, i hope you can see that one one number is there so one two eight number pins we have the eight pins total so in which four pins are the rows and four pins are the column so which pins are the which pins are column that will identify okay so when you uh, like hold this keypad and uh, if there is a backlight from that keypad uh, you can give the backlight like from the window or from the bulb you can easily identify the reflection and from the reflection you can from the light reflection you can easily identify the uh, which which pins are the row and which pins are the column so this first pin you can see easily i can see here and you also you, are, you can also see first pins are for the this column you can see this column the second pin for this column then third pin for the this column then fourth pin for the this column you can see so one two three four are the column pin and then uh, again from here you can see this is the row pins are coming and this is the first row so so by using that light intensity or light reflection you can easily identify which pins are the column and which pins are the row so we identify uh, here so we identify here uh, the pin number one to four from the keypad are the column pin and uh, then five to uh, five to eight are the uh, row pin okay so from here you can see there is a pin number also there pin number one is there one two four one two three four are the column then five six seven eight are the uh, row pins so we found that which are the column pin and which are the row pin then after that in the program you can easily see there is a column and there is a row so just uh, focus on these two lines uh, others lines i will explain later so you can see here uh, the column pin are starting with 5 4 3 2 but you should count from uh, at, from the last like 2 3 4 5 so this one number pin from the keypad so one number pin from the keypad this is one number pin from the keypad should be connected to two number pin of arduino okay so one number pin from the keypad should be connected two number pin of arduino then two three four five that is the series so first we can 
you can you can purchase the external mail to mail cables so that you can plug that mail to mail cable like here like this is the this is the uh, female connector so you need mail to mail cable uh, like this cable mail to mail cable and you can plug that cable here one by one so you should have the eight mail to mail cables so i just plug here okay so first number pin as i said first number pin from the keypad should be connected to two number pin of arduino so arduino you can see easily you can identify arduino pin number it is pin number mentioned here so you can easily identify there is no issue in that one so first number pin should be connected to two number pin okay then second number pin from the keypad so this is the second number pin from the keypad from this side you can see this is the second number pin from the keypad should be connected to three number pin of arduino then third number pin from the keypad should be connected to four number pin of arduino and uh, then fourth number pin of keypad should be connected to fifth number pin of arduino okay then we have the fifth pin of keypad so fifth pin of keypad fifth number pin of keypad should be connected to a0 pin of arduino then uh sixth number pin of keypad should be connected to a1 then seven number pin of keypad should be connected to a2 and then eight number pin of keypad should be connected to a3 so a0 a1 a2 a3 then 2 3 4 5 so 2 3 4 5 we use for the column then a0 a1 a2 a3 we use for the rows so this is very simple connection then after that you can give the power to arduino so how you can give the power you can you can simply use the usb cable of arduino and uh, connect that you can simply use this usb cable from the arduino and simply connect that usb cable here and this side you can see this side of usb cable you can connect with your laptop okay so this is the very simple connection now we will see the program part okay now let's see the program part of this project so very important point is you should download my code keypad with arduino code from my website link or from the google uh, from my website link the website link given in the description so once you download that may be the zip file you have to unzip that one and once you un unzip that one you will get this folder then inside that folder you will find this file keypad with arduino then you should have the arduino software in your laptop so open that software so once you open that software go to the file then go to the open then after that go to the uh, your file so wherever you downloaded that file just go to that location so i have downloaded here yeah so this is the file location keep it with arduino so inside that one this is the file i have to open just click on open button so once you open you will get this program this is very simple program but let's try to understand the basic part first so very important point is when you connect your uh, arduino with your laptop uh, just verify whether this is arduino board or not so go to the tools go to the board here you should select the arduino uno and go to the uh, port and here it should present the com4 port when i plug out my uh, usb cable then it will not show the port here you can see port is not there so when again i plug in my usb cable then it is showing uh, that board so wait for some second so you can see again it is showing the board so this is the basic part you have to verify then after that we require the external keypad library so how to install that library in your laptop that is also very important so go to the uh, sketch then include library and uh, then manage library so this window will open wait for some second it will download some stuff for the arduino so wait for some second then once this screen uh, screen is load then you can type here keypad and then search for this keypad option you can see keypad is there i have already installed that library uh, you can see my install is there already installed with version 3.1.0 so likewise you will find this, this install button and you can install this library by pressing that install button so once you click on install it will install that library and you will find this library installed so after that one you can just click on this verify button once the library get installed 
so you can see uh, once the library install you will get done compiling there is no error so in this way you can install the library now we will see the importance of each and every line okay now we will see the importance of each and every line so first we have in, in included the keypad library that's why this line is there then we are using 4 by 4 keypad that's why row and column define as a 4 by 4 then uh, this is the matrix for our keypad whatever the number you can see on the keypad that is reflected here 1 2 3 4 a then 4 5 6 b then 7 8 9 c then star 0 hash d so this is the keypad so that's why that number is there so let's say if your keypad has a different number then you can give the different number also here like instead of 6 i can give the uh, g also here if my keypad having the different number so likewise you can change the number also here in the keypad so this is your keypad then after that you can see uh, the uh, pin whatever the pin we are whatever the pin that I have, I have used that is defined here so a0 pin assigned to the pin number 5 of keypad you can see it is hint also given here for your reference so pin 5 from the keypad connected to the a0 pin of Arduino so a0 5 uh, like here uh, keypad 5 6 7 8 number is there so a0 pin then a1 a2 a3 pin for the row same for the column pin you can see hint is there pin number 1 from the keypad connected to Arduino 2 number pin so 2 3 4 5 so that we have already seen in the hardware connection so that pins are here then after that uh, there is a this is a keypad variable you can see object by using this object we can access the keypad library functionality so to create that object we use this line so this is the inbuilt line then after that we are using the serial terminal so here you can see once I press the serial terminal you can see board rate is 9600 so that board rate is defined here for the serial communication so once we press the key it will reflect there then after that main function is start when you press the key this function gets called and whatever the pin number you press that uh, comes here then we, we have to print that pin number on the serial terminal so that's why this line is there if the key is pressed then print the number on the serial terminal so very simple and easy program it is very easy to understand there is no issue only the tricky point is uh, this two line uh, why tricky because last number is connected to first number of keypad that means two number pin is connected to one number pin of keypad a0 pin from the Arduino connected to five number pin then five six seven eight like this direction five six seven eight two three four five so this is the keypad number and Arduino pin number so that is little bit tricky but when you see my hardware connection then you will easily understand that part also okay now how to run the code just upload the program into Arduino just click on this upload button okay once you click on upload button you can see done uploading is done so how to verify just click on the serial terminal and then after that you can press the key so let's verify again 1 2 3 a 4 5 6 b then 7 8 9 c then hash zero sorry star zero hash d so in this way we successfully completed the connection with keypad with arduino so in the next part we will see the advanced project by using this keypad if you like my content please click on like button please subscribe my channel please support me thanks for watching this video